Hello, good and faithful people of the Church of the Mediator. It's Father Dale. It's been a couple of weeks since I've made one of these videos. I hope that you have missed hearing these little blurbs. This is the first in a series of a couple of videos over the next few weeks that I'll talk about the new logo and the new branding. Somebody had asked me to talk a little bit more about that. I've written a little bit about it, but I also want to share it so you can hear my voice talking about it uh, because I am excited about it and I think it's, I think it's pretty cool. So, so here, uh, as you can see in this video, this is the view that I have when I'm presiding in the liturgy um, uh, looking out to you. And I, I like this much better when it's full of you, of course, but here I am on a Thursday afternoon and it is a quiet day here at the Mediator. But the, the, the rose window becomes for, um, for those up at the altar, uh, a focus point. And it is also a focus point, I hope, as you look up and out, as you move out and are sent forth, right? Go forth into the world, rejoicing in the power of the Spirit, or um, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. I hope that you take a look up at that rose window, because it is the window that is on the exterior wall facing out into our neighborhood. You'll remember that, uh, as I've written, that the window is titled, Christ the King, the Mediator, the Light of the World by Leonard Zlenouts, who was the stained glass artist who produced it. He was also the one who did the three great lancet windows above our high altar. He was a refugee, a Latvian refugee at a time when people were seeking refuge in the United States from Latvia. And so his connection as a refugee and our Refugee Community Center felt important in the selection of one of these windows in this window as, um, as, as a symbol of us as a people going forward in this next phase of our common life. Christ the King, the Mediator, the Light of the World, those three things. This to me feels like uh, a second coming window, an imagining of the end of all things when all things are consummated uh, by Christ coming in his glory and his majesty as king, as the one who is mediator, or that is of course our name as a parish, or mediador in uh, Spanish with a D. Uh, we'll talk about that in a couple of weeks. Uh, the mediator or the mediator, um, and that uniting that Christ does of earth and heaven and heaven to earth, the bridging of a gap that seemed impossible to bridge, that is the mediatorship of Christ. And then the light of the world, the one who beams with brightness and who fills all things living with light and with joy and with warmth, all of those things we think about when we talk about light. So this window faces outward, and it is, uh, it is the basis for the new logo. It is colorful, um, and the thing that I love about it, so there's a kind of a, an interesting coherence about what Leonard Zlenauts did here, is when you uh, take a look at this rose window, and then you take a look at the halo that is around Jesus's head, the ascending Christ, which is, which is in, he's in the center lancet of the three windows above the high altar. Uh, his halo has a similar colored uh, kind of refractal effect. It's almost like his crown, his glory, the glory of Christ ascending. Uh, take a look at that when you're, when you're in this space next, as well as the hands of God the Father, which are up at the very point of the lancet window, also have a similar round rose effect of, of refracted color and light and beauty. But another thing that I think is really interesting is, is and you can't always see it depending upon where you are in the space. So you might actually on Sunday or the next Sunday when you're here next, uh, you might want to come up actually uh, to the high altar, up to the uh, up in behind the, the the altar rail, and take a look behind the pendant cross because Lenout's in the center, the bottom center of the three windows has imagined the creation. And it's a kind of a red globe at the center, but then it bursts out into light and beams that, 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 that shoot out across all three of the windows. All of that is reflected 
neglected and also kind of brought into um, almost into alignment for me when I when I look at these image, images in the rose window where we see Christ the King, the mediator, the light of the world. And then one more piece about that window is that from the outside of the building, if you're looking at the front of the building as you're coming up the steps, what's lovely is that rose window is actually, as it were, a crown or a wreath, uh, a halo around the center of the cross that is on the outside of our building uh, in, it looks, it looks to me maybe some sort of stone. Um, and so my hope is, is that eventually we'll have backlighting on that window so that at night when people are walking in the neighborhood, they will be able to see the beautiful colors of Christ the King, the mediator, the light of the world, shining out from behind the cross, giving it that halo, that round effect. So. That is the basis of the new logo. This is not the logo. This is actually a drawing of the rose window. And as you can see, it is full of colors. Everything from blues to oranges to reds to greens uh, to kind of a fuchsia pink to a beautiful purple to yellows. All those colors are contained in a, in a sunburst that is Christ the King, the mediator, the light of the world. Um, our graphic uh, person uh, took that and turned it into the actual logo, which you can see um, simplifies some of those shapes a little bit and cleans them up, and you get a little bit clearer picture of what it is, but then also made smaller. So, so of course, this is a, a pretty detailed image, and as you would shrink it down on a print, uh, on something printed or on a digital medium, you might lose a lot of that uh, beautiful detail. And so, there are also there's a smaller version which 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 steps back the detail so that it's still recognizable, right? Smaller. But it, but it, it, it doesn't lose, it doesn't lose the point for for being uh, smaller in detail. And then, of course, an even smaller version that can be used, for example, on Facebook or on digital uh, social media that um, simplifies the logo even further, but maintains the general idea of the window of Christ the King, the Mediator, the Light of the World. That is the new logo, and I hope that you feel excited about it. I hope you uh, appreciate the use of stained glass, our glass, which is beautiful, that it has a refugee connection, that uh, theologically it's talking about Jesus as the one who is king, mediator, and light, and that it is an outward-facing window, that it's moving us outward into our neighborhood, outward into the world. Uh, from this Eucharistic table, we go forth fed, nourished, and empowered by the Spirit to get out there and to continue the work of reconciling this world to Christ until he comes in glory. Amen and hallelujah. Blessings, my friends.